are there is there like a popular diet amongst climbers or everyone does their own thing or does it matter you know that's a great i think it's becoming more of a topic as climbing starts to you know climbing has been on the steady rise uh, especially climbing gyms in general they're they're everywhere they do well um it's like a new way of working out that i think people find more enjoyable uh, sadly you know the past couple not the past couple of years but let's say the past decade you know some of the best climbers have have kind of succumbed to what most i think a lot of athletes have and that's um you know eating uh what's the right word is um uh you know, like these eating disorders, you know, cause the goal, everyone thinks like in order to, you know, if you start climbing, you start to think, Oh man, I wonder what it'd be like if I was 10 pounds lighter, or if I was 20 pounds lighter. And a lot of them think the only way to get there is by, you know, starving themselves or doing this. So, you know, I, I, I know personally some of the best climbers in the world and I think they've fixed their habits, but you know, it used to be like how strong and how light could you be? And they thought, the way to get there was to eat as little food. I, I used to, there was a, a great book that was written by a guy named Matt Samet. I highly recommend it if you have it. It's called Death Grip and it kind of talks about his, you know, his eating disorder that then turned into an anxiety disorder. Um, but he, he was eating coffee grounds and a can of tuna a day. That's it. Holy shit. So wake up, take some coffee grinds, put it in his mouth, chew it. That would suppress his, his hunger, smoke some cigarettes. Uh, and then maybe eat a can of tuna. Um, and that, that was it. And, and when he, he did that for a while and he was climbing, you know, it, it, for, for that time was climbing, you know, probably right up there with the best of them. Uh, but what happened is that led to all sort of, you know, it led to an, uh, I think this is the death grip part. It led to him having to take anxiety medication and he battled with that for 20 years, you know, trying to get off that. So sadly, I know a lot of climbers that have gone through the same thing, but now, um, you know, with this new generation, I feel like, you know, we're more accepting body positive. We're, we're starting to find new ways. There's all sorts of new supplements and products coming out. So I see climbers as becoming much more healthy. Now I see bigger guys in the gym, um, as opposed to just these, you know, skinny little, you know, twigs that can just feel like they're floating up the wall. So it's good to see the more body types coming in, but I don't think, you know, every, like, like anything, man, I've seen people say, you know, the keto diet was pretty big in the climbing world for a while. You know, the paleo diet was big. Um, you just got to listen to your body, man. Um, yeah. I, you know, okay. yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It, it, it all depends, you know, cause climbing is a, a much different sport than let's say basketball or football, right? Because in climbing, it's like, you, there's very few professional climbers, right? There's very, very few professional climbers. So like when there's money involved, you, you tend to be like, all right, I got to do everything right so I can get this NBA contract, you know, and make 40 million with climbing. It's like, there's no opportunities like that. So you have to ask yourself, like, you know, you know, maybe you want to drink a beer at night, but like, you know, if you're in the NBA, you're like, no, I've got a big game tomorrow. You know, like I can't do this. I've got a big game at climbing. There's, there's nothing really like that. So for me, I'm, I, I take kind of a more relaxed approach to it. You know, I, I, if I want to go out and have a good time and eat, that's great. If I want to have a beer, I, I do it. But, um, you know, there, there's, 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 not so there's a, like a lack of incentive I feel like in climbing. So I've seen every diet. So I don't think there's one thing that climbers tend to subscribe to. Um, I've seen everyone. I've seen it all. I've seen some, you know, young kids that can eat Skittles, you know, I don't know what's in them, like you said, but I see these young kids that can eat, you know, pepperoni pizza and Skittles every single day and climb their hardest. But you know, then they hit 25 and it's like, Oh shit. So it's, it's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's like, unlike any sport that I can say that I've ever been a part of. So,